Perfect, yeah, I know that now When it came crashing down All I know is that I need you around When it comes Hey, what's up everybody? Down. It's me, Miss Ebony V. Welcome back or to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for joining me today and clicking on that thumbnail. I do hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from me. If you're returning, Hey, Shook Muffin. All right, y'all. So happy Friday. And with it being Friday, you already know it's another edition of Budget Friendly Friday. I said Budget Friendly Friday. Yes. So if you're not familiar, Budget Friendly Friday is where I am bringing you or showcasing wigs that are under $25. Yes, we want to save those coins. So today I'm bringing you a double whammy of synthetic headband wigs. And I know you're looking at me like... Is that a headband wig? Yes, ma'am, it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with this red curly cutie right here, and then we'll switch into another deep water wave headband wig. So let's just go ahead and dive right on into this review. All right, y'all, so this unit was sent to me from March Queen, which is a vendor on Amazon. So huge shout out and thank you to them. This is what this pretty red hair looks like straight out of the package and it has your typical standard attached headband but this is a velvet head headband with the velcro attachment in the back. So for the cap construction you get one comb at the top, one comb in the back, no adjustable straps but it does have a breathable cap. Now the cap on this unit felt just a little bit snug, um, not uncomfortable but it was like a perfect fit. Now I was not sure what I was going to do with this hair and I felt like once I put that hair on my forehead, a bang would be a really cute look. So that's what I decided to do, cut a little bang out and style it from there. So then I just pretty much started cutting away to develop some sort of shape. And I was kind of going for like that heart shape. I thought that would be really cute. So don't be afraid of scissors, guys. If you're not, you know, if you think you're not good at cutting, just start chopping away minimally. And then you'll, you'll eventually get the shape that you're looking for. So let's talk about this curly cutie here. Now I know you saw in the footage that she is actually a headband wig. But for some reason, this company did not send any headbands. And not that I don't have a ton of them myself. But I thought that was kind of strange. I do feel like it may be the, the sponsored package. I do feel like if other consumers purchase this wig, you will get some headbands included. Or at least that's what it says on the website. So... Just my package didn't include any headbands. And before I stamp that, they could actually be included in the other wig that I haven't opened yet. So we'll get to that one momentarily. But with this one, this is so cute to me, y'all. I was like, okay, yes, let's just add a bang and um, chop her up just a little bit to frame the face. And I'm loving this, y'all. I am really loving this style and this color of course. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love this wine red type of color right here. Mm -hmm. So it's not a whole lot to say. I mean, pretty much what you see is what you get. I mean, you get these very nicely defined curls. Um, and this is synthetic, so definitely keep that in mind. Um, but she's super cute. This is a perfect length. She's nice and full. No lack in density whatsoever. And she definitely has some texture to her. So I really like this. It's kind of like a kinky curly type of Afro curly wig. <laughs> All that. So let me go ahead and give you a quick 360. And then I'm going to kind of play around with her just to, so that you see what she looks like as an actual headband wig <laughs> as she comes. So. Oh, all I need is not to feel so much long. So step inside my zone, baby, I can keep it. Now, I have no idea how it looks in the back, so if I didn't chop enough, my apologies. I can't see back there. <laughs> All right, so let's play around with her to see how she would look as an actual headband wig. I'm just kind of pulling the hair back, trying to see what kind of look and style I would want to go for. Let me just put the headband on, and then I can kind of 
style and play. So this headband just happened to be near me <laughs> from another unit I just reviewed. Um, but it kind of co it coordinates with me, so I figured it worked. Now let's see. Now since I've cut her, you may, let's see, let's push it all back. I feel like that may look better. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. See, it's just a matter of just finger playing in the hair and getting her to your desired liking. Now, see, this is super cute. Now, I don't want too much of my edges out because this hair is like all the way red. So it doesn't have any like dark root or anything. And so it could appear a little weird and funky. Um, you know, if you have too much of your black edges hanging out. So I only have a little bit of my edges peeping through. And this serves a look as well, y'all. What do you think? Is this okay? Or do you like it better with the bang and no headband? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm curious. This is really cute. I would definitely rock this in a hot second. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So I'm definitely feeling this one. Mm-hmm. All right. So now I'm going to go on and do a little switcheroo. Throw on the deep water wave headband wig. And let's see what she's working with. All right, so this one is packaged exactly the same, but it actually has the headband that I was looking for. All right, so here's the deep wave hair straight out of the package. It does come with the standard headband attached, but this is not a velvet headband. It does have the Velcro attachment in the back. It has three combs in the front, two on the sides, one in the middle, but it has no comb in the back nor adjustable straps. Now I had to pull out the dry shampoo because the very first thing I noticed was how super shiny this unit is. Now the cap on this one felt just a little bigger than the red curly unit. The hair is very, very pretty nonetheless with these gorgeous deep waves. Now, if you want to keep the definition of the deep waves, I recommend that you do not comb this unit out. I happen to like a lot of volume, so I decided to go ahead and comb this unit out. Here is the water wave after styling, and she's super cute too. She actually reminds me a lot of the Zuricis Luna I just recently reviewed with like all the volume and you know, the wavy hair. So she's really cute. Now, I know this may seem like a lot of hair for some people, cause it is a lot of hair. <laughs> the density is definitely here in this one. It says 150%, yeah, all of that maybe even more it's a lot of hair now i have shown you in other videos how to you know kind of reduce the volume of all of this hair and that just simply takes a little foaming lotion to just glide through the hair and it will definitely um, bring back the definition and lessen the volume so i like mine big so i'm gonna leave it like this but if you're not a fan of big hair and you kind of want it how it came out of the package, just add a little foaming lotion and it will bring it right back down. No problem. So as you can also see, they did include the one headband in this package instead of the other one. So we got one headband. Now some of the things I can do without with this unit is the super shine. Like I was like, why does this look so shiny and silky? So of course you saw me immediately spray it with some dry shampoo and it helps a little, but this is super shiny and silky looking. And y'all know I'm not too big on the shiny and silky. I can deal with it sometimes, but when it's silky and shiny, it's just like, ugh, overkill. So yeah, I had to reduce the shine just a little bit. Now, of course this is a silky synthetic unit, so yes, we are shangling, we are both shedding and tangling. It's inevitable with a wig like this. So, you know, you just kind of got to have your brush on hand 
or have your mousse on hand to kind of reduce. That's really all you can do. <laughs> now with those minor cons, like I feel like she's still super worth it because she's budget friendly. She is under $25. In fact, both of the units are under $25. And both of the units can be found on Amazon as mentioned earlier. Now the red curly unit is priced at $23.49. This one is only a dollar less, priced at $22.49. Both super affordable. So that's really all that I have for you lovely people on these two units. Of course, I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Which one is your favorite? Which one would you actually see yourself rocking? Do you plan to get either of these budget-friendly headband wigs? Let me know down below. I failed to mention this at the beginning of the video, so please forgive me, but I'd definitely like to give a huge shout out and thank you to March Queen for sending me these wigs and sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. So I feel like I'm bringing y'all sun vibes with this yellow sweatshirt here today. So if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave me a sun emoji right up here down in the comments below. So I know that you made it to the end of the video. I truly appreciate you for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you're not already, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Miss Ebony V. I do tend to post a lot of content there as well. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, please be sure to thumbs up this video. Hit that subscribe button if you have not. And I'll be sure to catch you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.